Uh, well, markets certainly today fought to recover uh, after the biggest drop we've seen in the S&P since 2011. But Dr. Doom believes the correction has much further to go. We're talking, of course, about Mark Faber of the Gloom, Boom and Doom Report. He's joining us live from Zurich. Mark, always a pleasure to see you. Uh, we saw such downside over the last Thank couple of much. days. Uh, do you see that continuing for the equity market right now? Is there going to be more, uh, more problems ahead? Well, right now... Equities, bonds, and gold are very oversold, and they can easily rally on the S&P. We could rally like 40, 50 points, but I do not expect a new high. And just in case a new high would be achieved in the next two months or so, it would not be confirmed by the majority of shares. In other words, very few stocks would lead the advance. In terms of bonds, they're also incredibly oversold and where our sentiment about equities is actually still rather positive and all these super bulls still predict the market to continue to rise into 2014 2015 in bonds and in gold sentiment is by historical standards incredibly negative in other words as a contrarian i would rather buy bonds and gold than equities. Yeah, but if in fact uh, Mr. Bernanke means what he says, Mark, and he's going to start tapering <laughs> sooner <laughs> rather than later, uh, isn't that going to send yields you. higher? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you say that if he means what he says, then you believe in Father Christmas. He said if the economy is does not meet the expectations of the Fed in one year's time, they will consider additional measures. In other words, if the economy hasn't essentially fully recovered by mid-2014, more QE will be forthcoming. And as I said already three years ago, we're going right. to go with the Fed to QE99. Mark, you are in Zurich. You've seen Switzerland buffeted by Europe, buffeted by what we've seen in America. One of the themes here this week has been the deflation or disinflation of Europe. We see very low inflation in the United States. As you invest forward, long on gold, long on bonds, are you doing that with a backdrop of no inflation? Well, I think uh, investors uh, have a misconception about what inflation is because uh, it's essentially an increase in the quantity of money and credit. And we have wage deflation in the world in real terms, for sure. In other words, real wages are going down and the cost of living everywhere are going up. That's why you have social unrest in North Africa, in the Middle East in Turkey, in Brazil, and it will spread because the average person on the street hasn't participated in the huge asset inflation that has been going on in high-end properties, in Mayfair properties, Fifth Avenue, Madison Avenue, Hamptons, and in equities and until recently in bonds and commodities. Well, you know what they say, economic uncertainty breeds political uncertainty. You know, Mark, earlier uh, in the show, we spoke with Laszlo Barini, and he's had some pretty choice words that you could say about gold. I'd like you to take a listen to this, and I want to hear your reaction. Are you short gold? Are you short the gold miners? It's our biggest short. It's it our biggest short. It has been for 18 months. Okay, Mark, you heard him. It's his biggest short right now, gold. What do you say? <laughs> well, to that I respond. There are many people out there, they never owned an ounce of gold in their lives. They were bearish about gold at $300, bearish about gold at $700, bearish about the stock market in 2009 when the S&P was at 666. Now they're bullish about stocks and they're still bearish about gold. Now, the commercial hedgers, these are professional miners, mining companies and people involved in gold trading. Right. They have the lowest short exposure since 2001 when gold was at $300. Similarly, in the silver market, the commercial hedgers, again, the professionals, have the, short, the lowest short exposure since 2001. I rather bet 
on the commercial miners, the commercial hedgers, than on some right. forecaster <clears throat> who knows about the future of prices as little as I know. Right. The only thing I know is that I want to own some physical gold because I don't want to be all with my all my assets in financial Mark, ass, in financial assets. I, I want you yes. to address the one way play in America. I want to come out of the rarefied atmosphere of Dr. Faber. America has bought dividends and rising dividends. They're buying blue chip or good quality stocks and they're going to hold them and they're going to get dividend growth. That's a consensus play right now. What's wrong with that consensus play? <clears throat> well, first of all, I believe that today we are talking about the global economy. The U.S. stock market has just about outperformed any other market around the world in the last six months to 12 months. We have big trouble coming into emerging economies. The emerging economies are not performing well. There's no growth at the present time. The Chinese economy, maximum, maximum is growing at 4% per annum. And we have multinationals in the SNP. Their growth and global growth came in the last four years from the recovery in the emerging world. If the emerging world doesn't grow, the global economy will not perform well. And corporate profits, as we just saw today from Oracle, will disappoint and stocks won't be the best investment in the world. What is that? You said stocks won't be the best investment in the world? W will not be a very good investment. I think the market is on the high side. Corporate profits are inflated. And I think we could easily, from the recent high, May 22nd, at 1687 on the S&P, drop by 20 to 30 percent, easily. Where do you see gold heading, Mark? by year end? Well, I think we will be higher by year end, but I'm not worried where we are. I have said that I buy gold regularly and I just bought today at 1300 and I will buy more at 1200 and more at 1100. So it sounds like you're telling us it's going down before it's gone back up. No, I, I, I don't know. I'm not a profit. I don't know exactly where the price will be on a month by month basis. But I want to have some wealth, some of my assets in physical gold, because I can see a lot of problems coming into the world, including expropriation right. through taxation or through regulation or even through rev revolution and social strife. Mark, thank you so much. Mark Faber, very late at night from uh, hey, Zurich, hey, hey, Switzerland. Real quick, wait, before, we, before we do good night, 10 year yield, where's it going to be? We're watching it. Uh, it creeped up to 2.5. 2 Does it keep, uh, where do you see it going? Well, actually, I am tempted to buy a 10 year treasury at a yield of 2.5%. I think we will rebound in the Treasury market. In other words, yields will go down first. And if they go up further, it's going to kill the economy, including the housing market. All right. We're going to leave it there. Mark Faber, thank you. I, I think this is great. I think it's great. He's, I, I'm going to play it right here, right now. A profit. OK, he said and he's not profiting profit. by dollar cost losses all the way down 1300, 1200, 11 of our the brave Mark Faber. Mark Faber, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. From, thank you. From Bye -bye. Zurich, late at night late in Zurich, night. Switzerland. On a Friday night. Go have some yeah. fun, Mark. All right, yeah. that should close, everyone. But we've got